For centuries, we have speculated about life on Mars and feared it. We always think of life on Mars as little green men, but more than likely, if there is life, it may be very different than what we find back here on our own planet Earth. Now, a NASA probe over the red planet produces new evidence showing this could be a real possibility. There might be life on Mars, and we're just looking in the wrong place. Since September 2006, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has been taking high-resolution images of the surface of the red planet. Five years into its mission, the probe captures something puzzling. Long streaks appear on the Martian slopes, and no one knows what they are. The odd thing is that these surface markings disappear, reappear, and then disappear again. These streaks are a big mystery. We don't know exactly how they form, at least not all of them. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they disappear. Mars has fearsome, powerful storms that scour its surface. Could they be responsible for these mysterious streaks? As the orbit of Mars draws closer to the sun, we see more dust storms across the surface of the planet. The sun heats the surface, the air rises, and dust, sometimes covering half of the entire planet, can rage for months. Imagine we're exploring the surface. Off in the distance, you would see it grow darker and darker. A monstrous cloud, 300, 600 feet high, would be approaching you. In this cloud would be lightning bolts snapping the ground. This would be a huge global Martian dust storm coming your way. But evidence from Mars rovers suggests that dust storms scour a surface clean. They don't leave localized streaks across the ground. On Earth, similar looking streaks are caused by water interacting with salt in a desert environment. In 2015, a NASA probe photographed streaks in another Martian crater. It picks up the spectrographic signature of salt. When it passes over again, the streaks have grown. One pass, it takes a picture of these gullies. Over the next pass, a few months later, now there's an expansive patch of salt. This can only mean one thing. Water somehow had to have flowed out and deposited the salt. But there isn't supposed to be any water on the surface of Mars. We know that you can't have standing water on Mars. It's a well-known fact that the pressure isn't high enough, the temperature's too low. Mars is a really dry place. It is a desert in the extreme, extreme way. The very presence of salt water turns accepted wisdom on its head. We had been thinking that Mars was a place that was so cold, so dry, that it rendered the flow of liquid water as impossible. But if you actually put enough of a special kind of salt inside this water, if you dissolve it, all of a sudden you allow that water to remain liquid even at very low temperatures. Analysis of the light reflected from the deposits reveal what it's made of. The closest match is a salt called perchlorate. Perchlorates in high concentrations in liquid water can lower the freezing temperature water down to minus 70 degrees C. That's extraordinary. Minus 70 degrees Celsius is minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Remarkably, perchlorates can keep water flowing even at such extreme temperatures. This would explain why the water could last as long as it did traveling down slope before it disappeared and vanished. But it doesn't explain where the water came from in the first place. A close analysis of the images suggests an exciting possibility. These streaks don't originate at the top of the crater. They actually seem to be coming out partway down. 
This corresponds to an underground level, maybe an aquifer running water underground. It's coming from underneath the surface of Mars. It's underground water that's coming out. The implications are profound. So this was an important observation because it tells you that liquid water is still flowing at the surface of Mars today. And where there's liquid water, at least on Earth, there's always life. For life on Mars, conditions would be extreme. Some microbes on Earth like perchlorates. They don't mind being in an environment rich in perchlorates, but not at the concentrations that are needed to keep water liquid on Mars. But what we consider to be a hostile environment might not be that hostile for all kinds of all forms of life. Maybe it can find a way to survive and thrive in that kind of extreme environment. On Earth, fish thrive in the boiling hot sulfur pools of the Marianas Trench, showing that life always finds a way. Certainly, as we learn more about life, we learn that it can tolerate more extreme environments than we had thought. Certainly more extreme environments than we humans tend to think of as habitable. So, I would not exclude the possibility of life on Mars even today. The discovery of salty water oozing from below the Martian surface opens up an important new avenue in our search for life on Mars. There might be life on Mars, and we're just not finding it because we're only on the surface, and it's underground. We're looking in the wrong place.